Hello everybody, this week we are going to make sound maps, una mapa de sonido, which is a special way for us to show some appreciation and gratitude for the places in our life that are special to us. So we're going to start by choosing a place that is important to us. So that might be uh, your bedroom, your kitchen, um, your backyard, or a park, somewhere nearby. Once you've chosen your special place that you want to show your appreciation for, the next step is to stop, pause, and listen. If you really listen, all of those sounds, like the regular everyday bumps and scrapes and noises, can actually turn into something more like a symphony or a soundtrack that is special. By making a sound map, you are writing down all of the sounds that you hear of that special place and really giving it some appreciation and gratitude. You're making a record for all of history to remember of what the sounds of your special place sound like. Okay, let's get started. I'm sitting in my special place, which I'm going to label here on the top of my sound map. My back porch. Then I know where I am and I'll put myself right in the middle. So here you are. I want you to take a second to get a little oriented on your map. It's always important that you start with a compass. So you're gonna be facing forward. This is the stuff that's right in front of you. So you could label this like when I look forward, I see my back yard. This is gonna be all the stuff that's behind us. So when I'm sitting in this location, behind me is my house. And then in this direction, this is the stuff that I can see and hear to my right. And this is the stuff that I can see and hear to my left. So this is my neighbor's yard. And my other neighbor's yard. All right, so now I'm oriented on my sound map. I'm gonna to listen to the sounds around me and, oh, I hear a dog. I hear a dog up in front of me and over to the right. So on my sound map, I could either write the word dog or I could draw a cute little fluffy dog. Hi dog, woof, 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 woof. And that's actually kind of the sound that I'm hearing coming from this dog. So I hear a woof, 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 woo. So I think about that sound is kind of short and choppy and a little bit loud. So it looks like this, maybe woof, 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 woo. I make the lines of my sound look like the sound sounds like. Great, now I'm sitting and listening some more. And oh, interesting, I hear my dishwasher coming from the house behind me. So um, I don't really know how to spell dishwasher. So I'm gonna just draw the dishwasher here. I'm thinking, what is causing that sound? It's kind of chugging in my house. So the chugging sounds like chugga lugga, chugga lugga. So I'm gonna do, it's a little bit faint. It's not so loud. So I'm gonna make my lines not so dark. Just some nice chugga lugga, chugga lugga, chugga. And I'll continue to listen until I hear all the sounds that I want to put on my sound map. So the first time I made a sound map was last spring and I loved it so much. I was just enjoying being outside and listening to the symphony of sounds around me. And so I went a little overboard with my sound map. I'm gonna show you my sound map, which is one example of how you could do it. This is like extra fancy. Um, so I don't expect that yours would be this complicated, but it maybe will give you some ideas for the possibilities of what you can do. Here's my fancy sound map for my back porch in May. I told you it was pretty fancy. All right, here's me in the center right here. And then as I'm facing front, it says this way to the backyard. Right in front of me, I heard this beautiful bird singing, hey lady, hey lady. And so I chose to draw that with a line and two dots because that's what that bird call sounds like. And then the trees were rustling in the wind and they went all around and behind me. Put those there. There were also wind chimes that sounded like sparkles to me. Ding dong, ding dong. Now over here, we saw an ambulance, or I heard an ambulance and saw and thought I would draw it like this. Woo, woo, woo. 
there was a squirrel making an announcement. Chip, chip, cheep, chip, 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 cheep, chip, chip. And motorcycles driving nearby. Vroom. Inside my house, behind me, I could hear creaky stairs. Creak. And then, of course, my dishwasher chugging, which we saw from that first example. Chug-a-lug-a, chug lug it was, I was even listening so closely that I could hear my own breath. This inhale and exhale. Right there, right along with me. My cat Prince was inside begging for a snack. Meow, meow. There were construction projects happening next door. Bang, 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 bang. More birds singing fancy songs in the trees my neighbors talking and playing music, and some basketball. Pop, 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 pop. So when we zoom out, we see all of this amazing symphony of sounds that were all around me on that day in May. Once you've made your sound map, go ahead and snap a picture of it and put it up on Seesaw for us to share. Don't forget to use the microphone to tell me about the sounds that you recorded, just like I just did with my sound map. Extra bonus points if you make the sounds with your voice and don't just tell me about them. Have fun, everybody. Take a big, deep breath and appreciate the sounds around you.